Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. When I was a little boy, my dad taught me a lot of things. I just didn't know. He taught me how to uh, change a tire on my bicycle or how to make sure I had enough oil on the chain. He taught me how to change the spark plugs, the oil, or work on the muffler in my car. And you know, I do those same things with my children as well. Now I, I want them to learn and know and understand. And so I walk with them and I teach them. My daughter and I, we play a kind of a game, if you will, where I'll uh, put myself in a position where she won't know where I am and she'll come around and I'll leap out and surprise her and she'll do the same to me. Today I want to talk to you about the omniscience of God. Now that term omniscience is just a fancy word meaning God knows everything. He is perfect and complete and, and deep knowledge of absolutely everything that exists in the past, the present, and the future. He has never been surprised. He's never been confused. He's never had to learn anything. Now listen to this in, in Isaiah chapter 46. He says, For I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. See, we don't understand that. See, God is different than we are. We had to go to kindergarten, we had to go to elementary, we go to high school, we go to college, we work on our masters, whatever it is, because we have a lack of knowledge. We can be surprised by pandemics, we can be confused because of marriages, we can, we can feel anxiety because we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but that's never happened to God. He says, he says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times of things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. See, God knows everything. There's a story in the New Testament where Jesus says to Peter, you're going to deny me three times. Peter says, no way, that's not going to happen. Jesus says, I know it's going to happen. I've seen it. I know it. Peter says, no, no, no. And yet it happens. But in that same text, Jesus tells Peter that after your strength has been renewed, I want you to go and I want you to encourage the brothers and the sisters of the Lord. And you know, that's exactly what took place. See, Jesus knows everything that's going to take place. And because of that, we can have hope. In Matthew chapter 10, Jesus says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. You know what Jesus is trying to communicate, and, and what I'm trying to communicate today is, because God is all-knowing, he knows how many birds are out there, he won't let a bird drop to the ground. And he knows the hairs in my head and, and because he knows that information we should not fear it should give us great hope and encouragement no matter what's happening in our government what's happening in our cities what's happening in our marriages God is working all things together for good for his good that we would be strengthened in faith and that we would honor and glorify him he knows it all He's never been surprised. The past, the present, the future. He went to the cross of Calvary knowing the depth of who we are, and yet he still died for us. He still poured out his love because even in knowing us in our fullness and the secrets of our heart, God used that knowledge to die and to give us life more abundantly. As you pray and fast, I want you to think about the knowledge of God. How unsearchable, how unsearchable are all his ways. He knows everything and he still loves us. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.